Proof HD is a phase three double blind placebo control study to evaluate the safety and efficacy of prodopidine in patients with early stage Huntington's disease. The trial has been conducted by the Huntington Study Group in collaboration with the University of Rochester Clinical Trials Coordination Centre and with TFS. The study is sponsored by Prolinia, which is a clinical stage biotech company led by Michael Hayden and Prodopidine is the company's lead asset. HD is a phase three study trying to assess the capability of predopidin to improve the function of patients with Huntington's disease. That's something very special. We never had a drug in Huntington's disease so far to show a functional benefit in Huntington patients. We particularly look here for stage one, stage two early Huntington's disease patients and the previous evidence we generated from the Pride HD study, which was a huge clinical trial done over one year with more than 400 subjects suggested that particularly in stage one and stage two Huntington's disease, predopidine can deliver a benefit on uh, function. And that's something really important for Huntington patients. The Proof HD study addresses things like being able to work, being able to handle your finances, things at home like washing your laundry and things like that. So the study itself consists of a screening period, a double blind period, which is the main study, and an open label extension period, an OLE. So after signing the consent form, participants undergo screening, and that's to determine eligibility. The screening period is then followed by a double blind treatment period, which lasts for 65 to 78 weeks. And at the end of that, Eligible participants who've completed that part of the study will have the option to enrol in an open label period and receive predopidine. So during that study, all the patients on that part of the study will be receiving the active drug. We are very, very happy that we now have a properly powered study with Proof HD. It was 60 sites across the globe, a really study done by the global Huntington community in North America and in Europe jointly. And we'll look at 480 subjects, 240 in each arm, and use the TFC as the primary endpoint, which is a well established and recognized endpoint um, in the Huntington community and also with regulatory agencies. More information about the study and active site locations can be found on clinicaltrials.gov or on the Huntington Study Group's webpage, www.huntingtonstudygroup.org.